Hey guys, Marilyn here. Um, here I am with the continuation on how to cut rhinestone templates on the Cricut. As mentioned before, there's a lot of software out there. However, it's usually geared towards the silhouette. And the silhouette does come with rhinestone uh, temp uh, it, it comes included with the program automatically on die cutting rhinestone templates. However, I had to download the shirt cuts a lot to make this and it is design space compatible. So for $43, you can download this program and use it as a separate software and then import your rhinestone template. What like what we're looking at right now, and you can import it into Design Space and then cut it out. So as you can see, it is a bunch of circles, so it'll cut out those little circles, so then the rhinestones will fall into place, and then you will pick up all the rhinestones with the Hot Fix transfer tape. It's not the same transfer tape that you use for vinyl, and we'll get into that in a little bit, but I just wanted to show you something real quick that I forgot to mention in my first video. Um, actually, I uploaded the wrong video, but I said, you know what, I'm just going to run with it because after so many takes, it's what it is. Okay, so I am currently in the Sure Cuts A Lot program, so I just wanted to show you something real quick. One thing that is not mentioned in the video that I uploaded is once you bring in your rhinestone template with all these little circles into design space what you cannot do in design space is drag it and make it bigger because what you're going to do in design space you're going to distort all your little circles and you're going to make them bigger than what the rhinestones uh fit and then your rhinestones are going to be flopping all over the place and they're not going to fall in the holes like they need to. So the only reason why I am able to do that in Sure Cuts a lot is because this program is set up to do rhinestone templates. So what this did when I made it larger, it actually added more rhinestones to fill the bigger space, hence the bigger size that I want for my t-shirt, right? So I'm going to go ahead and hit undo. This is Sure Cuts a lot. I've already opened up my, uploaded my final image that I do want to die cut in design space for my rhinestone t-shirt. So this is it here. Um, in the last video, I also showed you how to weld it. As you can see, there's only one little dot right there. So all the little dots were uploaded to Design Space. So once it's completely uploaded to Design Space, just make sure to weld your image so then it's 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 nice and clean and compacted and all that good stuff. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and load this material into my into my Cricut. Right. Okay. So let's move this over here so you can see what I'm doing. All right. So just to show you the first template that I made with the Cricut and Sure Cuts a lot. This was my this is my logo for Diaz Designs. And as you can see when I bring it up closer, you can see the thickness of the material. Right? And then you can see up close how nice and clean and perfect that cut my template. All right. So that's what we're going to do now with my petroglyph that we have here. So move that out of the way. So this material, I have another video of my first purchase that I made with the Rhinestone World. Um, and this is the Magic Flock. It looks like clouds. I love it. Feels really nice. Um, so I've already cut it to size. I'm going to put this on my strong grip mat, on my cutting mat. 
So I have to tell you what I did um, when I first started this petrol glyph, but I'll tell you in the end in hopes that this die cuts perfectly just like my logo. And so then we'll go from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my machine here. All right, everything is connected. Oh, there's a little piece of evidence. I'll have to tell you about that. <laughs> Hopefully after this cuts and it cuts perfectly. Excuse my mat. It is a little uh, worn from card stock that I was cutting. I do have to clean it, but it still does have a lot of strong grip on there. So I'm still going to use that one. And you're going to put your uh, template material, your magic flock, um, facing up just the way I have it. And I've already set my position um, to zero at X and zero at Y. And I'm going to go ahead and hit make it. Hopefully it will load right away. And it did. So that loaded up there pretty quickly. So you can see all those little circles. Those are going to cut out onto my template over here. And Obviously, I'm not going to record the whole thing because it's going to take a while to cut this. So I'm going to take a look at the time. It's 8.57. Um, I'm going to go ahead and time this because it is a lot of circles. And my image is about 8.5 inches wide uh, by 9 inches long. So this is going to take a while. So let's see here. Oh, and the setting is set on fabric. That is the setting that I'm going to use to cut this template. So let's go ahead and load it or cut it. And you know, one thing when I first purchased my Explorer Air on HSN, um, with my little cheesy video that I have about, oh, I just bought an Explore Air. It got a lot of views, but it's kind of cheesy. But I, I was amazed at how this thing worked and um, how it randomly cuts in different spots. Um, but it cuts beautifully. And I have the maker, like I've mentioned before. But I, I'm so in love with the Explore Air that I still have not used my maker yet. I did finally take it out of the box. It's sitting on top of my my desk in my craft room. Um, I'm actually in my dining room because I don't want to be upstairs by myself with no TV. So I bring everything downstairs to my dining room and I make a hot mess out of everything down here. So we're going to go ahead and let that cut and I will be back once it's done cutting and then we will see what it looks like.